I don't know. Dude. Don't play with her, don't be dishonest. Hey, still not understanding this logic. Hey, I'm back and I'm better. I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me get better. I want to get you better. Baby, it's whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. Just been trying to get acclimated to this whole college thing and get my feet wet with everything so I'm back with this video and as you can tell by the title I'm just gonna be telling you the truth about the first month of college I have been here since August 11th next week it'd be September 11th and I just want to let y'all know how my college experience has been going for the first month that I have been here so if you like to watch this video just keep watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and leave in the comment section any college related videos or any videos in general that you would like for me to post all right, so I took my glasses off because it was a glare in front of the window. So, college. College. <laughs> I don't know, it's an experience and I'm here and yeah. College, it's college. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all about this first month that I have been at the Appalachian State University. I'm gonna keep it real. So first, let me just start off by the first week that I was here, I did this program called Ascend, which is for all marginalized minorities to come and get acclimated with campus, do programs together, meet each other. And that is where I have met most of my friends, most of my black friends, and we hang out every day. And yeah, I'm very grateful for that program. It did not go how I thought it was gonna go let me put that out there it did not go how I thought it was gonna go but I'm still grateful for all the people that I met because I don't think I would have made it through these last couple weeks without them so the first thing I'm gonna tell y'all is that when you get here you gonna want to go home you gonna want to go home that's all I can say you gonna want to go home but you have to stay here the more that you stay here and don't keep driving back home or flying back home like that's when you really are gonna feel like this is your home I didn't go home until last weekend for Labor Day because I went to the beach before it got cold. But if I would have went home, I feel like I would have just been so homesick, sad all the time. And nobody wants to be sad all the time. Nobody not does not want to enjoy college. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is emotions here. Being away from my mom and my brother and my family. And I'm not going to lie. Like... It's been hard. Like, I miss my brother first day of school. Like, I have never... See, I'm about to cry. I have never missed, like, an important date in his life. I'm about to miss his birthday next week. And, like, girl. It's just... It's really hard being away from everything. But I just have to keep reminding myself that I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a purpose. And I'm just going to be greater in the end. And I think over time and as the years go by, it'll be better when I leave because he won't cry as much because when he cry I cry and I'm just like I'm so sorry that I have to leave and I have to keep missing everything it's hard it's hard y'all it's hard it's hard stepping out on your own and trying to figure it out on your own because really people can say that they can help you prepare for college but they really can't like nobody nobody could prepare me for the emotions that I'm going through right now like I miss my mom I feel like I'm missing everything in my brother's life I just feel like I'm working hard but am I working hard enough am I doing enough and still trying not to get overwhelmed and just in over my head in general and just get acclimated to my new surroundings and my new environment with different people and let me tell y'all when you get to college you're going to experience some people you ain't never experienced before because these people let me tell you they do not care about you they will walk through you like you are freaking air like they do not move out the way they do not say excuse me they don't do any of that and like people will stare at you like when i tell you like when we walk into a building or when we walk into a function like when i tell you you can hear a million necks like all stare stare like hello how are you i'm alexis like can i help you why are you staring at me like 
like that <laughs> it's gonna take some time to get used to but that in general this first month getting used to being around all different types of people like now i never had to do this but now i introduce myself hi my name is alexis lawson i'm a creative writing major i use pronouns she her hers because my school is inclusive like that and they want everybody to feel welcomed and like they're they care about how they how they identify and all that so that's really good um first month of college i've been here almost a month i love my classes it really benefited me to do the middle college program because my friends don't like their classes because they're in the regular general ed classes and I'm already into my major. So I'm really enjoying the classes that I chose and my favorite class right now is my prose class because like I actually get to write stories often and at the end of the class I have to have a 10 to 25 page story written and that really like is a big deal for me because my thing is my biggest flaw, my biggest problem with being a writer is that I don't write I don't have the time to write so I've been trying to force myself to write every little chance that I get especially for that class that has really encouraged me to write and like getting honest feedback from published writers has really like helped me come out of my comfort zone and write more honestly and just write more in general um college that's why I keep saying like it's so hard to describe it because everybody's experience is going to be different but college I'm here y'all like this is this is my coming out this is my stepping out into the world by myself and like I'm like not stressed but it's a lot of things that's going on like I've never had a roommate before um these stairs are killing me I'm about to have some <laughs> killer legs by graduation and yeah it's just it's just an experience in itself and any experience you have in life you just have to get used to it you gotta take it by the horns and just go with the flow and that's really how my mentality is here and i'm just trying to keep my vibes positive and keep positive energy around me in general because it's so easy to get down and get sad here because you have nobody here you have all these strangers that you just met that you have to lean on and that's one thing i can say you need to make some friends don't stay in your room all the time go out you don't have to go to a party but get out your room go hang out in the lounge go hang out in the union go do something go meet new people introduce yourself to people like when i got on campus i literally introduced myself to every person i saw like hi my name is alexis lawson how are you what's your name because i feel like it's important for people to know my name especially on such a big campus like they it might be an opportunity out there for me and they just think of me because i introduced myself to them and i made it my business to get to know them you know you always want to make connections and stuff and that's one thing i have learned here just in my first month that you want to make connections and you want to get to know people and even if you don't speak to them on a day-to-day -day basis you want to get to know them and you want to make sure they know you and make sure they know your intentions intentions make sure you are intentional in everything that you do here don't join no club if it's not benefiting you don't be in no program if it's not benefiting you don't take no class if it's not benefiting you don't be friends with people if they're not benefiting you basically college is supposed to add to you not subtract from you so don't do anything that's taking stuff away from you you need to be filling yourself with joy positivity education everything don't do anything that is taking away from what you came here to do who you came here to become and who who you are trying to become because that can mess up your mental state the people you surround yourself can mess with your mental state and you're gonna be walking around here looking sad and moping and you're gonna hate it like you're gonna hate it you have to make this experience the best you can because this is your experience you're never gonna get it back nobody can write this experience for you this is your life this is literally the beginning of your life you need to start taking it in your own hands and doing what makes you happy what will make you successful what brings you the most joy and what you want to do don't do something because somebody told you to do it be do it because you want to do it be who you want to be college is so full of so many opportunities and being on this campus i can literally say that i have met like a ton of people that i would never have met if i didn't go away to college if i stayed at cpcc the community college that i was at during high school like cpcc had a variety of people too but this is just way bigger i'm being introduced to stuff that i didn't even know existed and i'm educating myself so i can be more inclusive more educated so i can interact with people <laughs> yeah that's all i can really say 
Um, like I said, I love this campus. I love this school. I'm still trying to figure out why I picked this school, why this school came to me in the dream, and why like it made me feel something in my heart. But I think it'll come along as I get more into stuff and figure things out. But I love this school. I love being here. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I just want to just pack my stuff up and go home. And it's times like that where, I, where it makes me feel like I really need to be here. Like I'm here for a reason. I may not know the reason right now, but I was put on this mountain to leave all my black girl magic sparkly dust. And I'm going to do that because that's what, that's what I was put here to do. Like everything that I do has purpose. Like I'm not doing anything that doesn't benefit me or benefit the whole like I just want to become the best me that I can be the best writer that I can be and just have an experience to look back on because it's times in your life where this is going to be the best time in your life right now it may seem like it's the hardest time and you just can't get through this but later in life when you keep living and you really go through something this is going to be the times you look back on and be like I really thought I had it hard so I'm just trying to soak up all of it enjoy all of it and just keep pushing through and try and give Appalachia State what I can give them and see what they have to give me. So thank y'all for watching my video. I am going to try and post more consistently now that I have like a routine and a schedule down packed. So yeah, I will be filming a dorm tour for everybody who wants to see my dorm. And that'll be out maybe next week or at the end of this week. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and turn my notification bell on so you can get notified every time that I post because it's free and you know we really broke college students out here really really broke college students out here okay okay really broke and I'll leave my um app state mailbox information in the description box if anybody wants to send me anything um yeah don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so yeah I'll see y'all in my next video Peace out.